This is my new espresso maker, and I really like it so far. Something that I appreciate is it looks really nice. I have some other stainless steel appliances, and it is very sleek. It matches the aesthetic of kind of a modern kitchen. And I also appreciate that it doesn't take up a lot of space. You see espresso makers, they're often big and bulky, and this one is not that at all. Um, I also appreciate that it's so simple to use. We have a power button, and after it warms up, we get to choose if we're gonna do a double shot or a single shot. And then we also have the steaming function or hot water right here on the side with the wand. So because many people who purchase uh, espresso makers are unfamiliar with some of the, the things that are, are really important, um, I thought it'd be helpful if I gave you a little bit of a head start um, gave you some tips to be successful with this espresso maker and, and really any espresso maker. Um, first thing that you need to know is that anytime you're going to make an espresso shot, you don't want to use an electric grinder that you would with your old drip coffee maker. Because what happens is your coffee grounds get ground over and over and over and over again and so you're left with uh, a mix of coffee grounds that are both thick and chunky and then some that are ultra fine and then as a result you can end up getting a clogged filter and then your espresso comes out too slowly one drip at a time it doesn't work there's a special kind of grinder for espresso beans and it's called a burr grinder you can get them in this manual form as I have, or you can get them electronically. And how it's different is notice that the coffee beans, or the espresso beans rather, are on the top. And as they're ground, they fall, leaving you with consistent grinds throughout the espresso, or th throughout. Um, and it's really important too that you adjust how fine your coffee grounds are and you probably have to play around with that a little bit based on what kind of burr grinder you end up getting and um, and based on and based on your machine. So I have mine dialed in. It's kind of like uh, the thickness of, of um, sand. It's not ultra fine. Uh, it, it is, well, let's see if I can get some out and then I'll show you. It is the right consistency for, for me and my machine and um, well, this is hard to do with my camera at the same time, but uh, I think it's probably worth showing you. Okay. So you can see it's not ultra, ultra fine like you might get if you were using a electric um, coffee grinder, right? So make sure whatever grinder you use says burr, burr grinder specifically, okay? You obviously wanna get your preferred espresso roast and um, I have mine here. And you'll want to get some syrups if you like a sweet latte and your preferred milk. Now, another thing that you might notice is that you have this tamper here. So after you have ground your espresso and you get your tamper ready, give me a second. You have your tamper here and you put your espresso grinds in here, okay? You'll want to tamp it down, okay? Um, the challenge with having a hand tamper is that it can be difficult to know how to gauge how much pressure to put down because if you tamp this way too hard, more than 30 pounds of pressure, then what can happen is you end up again with this hard puck that doesn't allow any of the water to flow through and you won't get uh, a very good shot. So you have to play play around with that, or if you want, they do sell tampers that are designed to provide just the right amount of um, pressure. So as you're pushing down, it'll automatically adjust, make sure that you never push too hard. So you might wanna get a different tamper, but I find that this works just fine as long as you're open to experimenting a little bit with um, how hard you need to press down, okay? So after you've done that, 
uh, and you're going to make a latte, you may also want to get a frothing or foaming cup. And these are really helpful if they are metal because as you're heating it up, you can feel that this thin metal, as it's getting hot, you can use that as a gauge to know how hot um, you want to make your latte. So that can be really helpful, but not necessary if you have a cup and you're able to monitor the temperature with the cup that you use. And then finally, you might want to get your favorite syrup. Uh, and the, the last piece that I find so helpful is having a couple of cups dedicated to your espresso maker. I got these at the Dollar Tree, which uh, I'm a big fan of saving money where I can, so I just throw those underneath, okay, when you're ready to use it, and let's just make one together. So you already saw, I ground my beans, I put it in my permafilter, I tamped it, and um, let's go ahead and put this on. I'll see if I can do this with one hand. So it's pretty simple. It slides up and you'll see that it kind of snaps in and then I keep going. I will have to use my other hand here just a moment. So now that I have that locked in, I have this on the side set to the coffee setting. I'm gonna press the power button. One thing that's nice about this espresso maker that's different than others that I've used is it automatically measures the shot for me. Sometimes your espresso makers will continue to fill up the cup, cup, fill, 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 and just pour over, and it requires you to know exactly when to turn it off, but I appreciate this watch. So I've tamp tamped it, and. I have the option for one shot or two because I have the larger cup on. I am going to select uh, two, a two shot espresso. Okay. It should take about 25 seconds or so to get a really nice shot. If the water comes out too fast, there you go. If the water comes out too fast, then you know that um, you either have your ground grounds are too thick or you haven't tamped it hard enough. If your ground, if your coffee or your water rather comes out too slowly, then you either have too fine a ground or you tamped it too hard. Um, so there you go. There's my first, I should say, a second espresso shot with these, and now we'll make a latte.